Hi, I'm Shanna, and we have some technical tips about the telemetry system that's used for Shell Eco Marathon competitions. <laughs> telemetry allows us to transmit data about a car position, speed, and energy consumption live to teams and spectators at Shell Eco Marathon events. Our telemetry data gives teams information that can help them learn and improve, and for spectators it adds excitement as they can see exactly what is happening in real time while the race unfolds. Here's how it works. Sensors in the car transmit information to an onboard computer. The computer sends information to a cloud-based server. The server processes the data and then fires it back down where students and spectators can see it on displays and on social media. Whoa. Let's look at how the telemetry system monitors energy consumption. You'll need a different component installed depending on the energy type of your vehicle. For internal combustion engines, the primary sensor is the liquid flow meter. It will precisely and accurately measure how much fuel flows between the tank and the engine. For battery electric vehicles, a joule meter measures the electrical energy being used. It needs to be positioned between the battery and the vehicle's electrical system. In the case of internal combustion engine vehicles, the starter motor must come after the joule meter. For hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, energy consumption is measured by a hydrogen flow meter. This sensor tracks how many normal liters of hydrogen are consumed by the fuel cell. Now, let's take a closer look at the onboard computer or OBC that all vehicles will need. First of all, the onboard computer is powered by its own battery, which will be supplied by the organizers at the event. The computer has several components, an external element with GPS, Wi-Fi, and cellular antenna, and an internal component that connects the sensors and the telemetry battery. It's important that the external component has a free view of the sky, it must not be covered by any parts of the car. Siding can be used around the housing, but only if all OBC buttons and LEDs are still easily accessible. Yeah. Finally, the onboard computer should also be mounted within 10 degrees of the horizontal. That's it for our telemetry tech tips. As a final reminder, don't forget to keep your components and wiring neat, away from moving parts of the car, and avoid any electromagnetic interference. If you need further help, please check out articles 80 through 85 of the rules or contact the tech team with any questions.